It is my true pleasure to introduce you tonight a man that is as much of Maine as you and I are. He's been here for so many years. He just signed a new record deal with Atlantic. He's back on Atlantic Records. Got a new album coming out this spring. It's going to be a great rock and roll LP. It'll be out this spring. Be looking for it. But a man I listened to since my sophomore year in high school, one of my idols. Maine, are you ready to rock and roll? Bill Chinook in the Suns!
I've seen that before. It's good to be home. We did a couple albums for CBS. You probably never even heard the last three or four years. It's been about a year out in California. We've got a brand new record deal with Atlantic Records. New album will be out April 1st, Thunder in the Valley. This is a brand new band, and it's great to be home. I missed you all.
here's a song we're gonna do new songs and about every old song you want to hear tonight here's a song called desperate man First off, Bill, you grew up in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Of course, great rock and roll place, a lot of history behind it. What was it like growing up there? Well, it was kind of the, be the beginning of the rock and roll era was happening. So there weren't many, you know, rock bands or rock and roll was just kind of in its beginning day. And it was a resort town by the, you know, on the ocean. There was a bunch of little honky tonks and places like that. And uh, kind of you can imagine the, the 50s kind of. New Jersey, <laughs> American graffiti, 
and that was fun. And we decided to put a rock band together. And did you, uh, did you always want to be a rock? Always player? wanted to be it. Yeah. Well, who were your early influences when you were growing up? Oh God. Well, Ray Charles was probably one. Uh, the Ventures was probably another. Dwayne Eddy was another. Uh, Paul Butterfield Band. All the different things in that time. And I put together a, a rock and roll band down there at the shore. And it was in such a beginning of the scene that I even had to go and buy banjo strings to put on my guitar because they didn't make skinny guitar strings in those days. And we used to take amplifiers and poke holes in our speakers to get kind of a raspy sound. And I assembled a, I assembled a band. It was probably the first big rock and roll band. Well, one of the one of the first in Asbury Park at the Jersey Shore. We had the first. Uh, we had the first rock record out on Kama Sutra Records in 1966, me and the guys. And it was myself, it was Danny Federici on keyboards, uh, another bass player, Bill Wolf, another guy from, from New Jersey, and another drummer down there from the Jersey Shore. And that band eventually evolved into uh, the foundation of basically what was the E Street Band. Yeah, you just told me that earlier. Explain mm -hmm. that, how that all came. Well, they finally done a thing about it. And, and it's, it, it's kind of funny that the press or anybody never really inquired about it, because sometimes when I did albums, you know, like Badlands and stuff, they always kind of gave that, uh, I found myself in Springsteen in so many interviews together, and I was always taking kind of the, you know, the, the back seat, or I was taking the, the bad guy look or something as if we had come along after him. And the truth of the matter was that myself, Gary Talent, Danny Federici, and Vinny Lopez, we had a band years prior to his coming on the scene. And we toured for the Electric Circus, played, worked at the Steve Paul scene, made records. Uh, I even talked David Sanchez's mother into letting David <laughs> play rock and roll in, in Belmar. And finally, he got by the time I was 19 years old, I mean, we had already toured, we'd already made one record, already made an album that didn't get released to all of us. We were heavily involved in that, you know, the 60s New Jersey rock scene. Played the Steve Paul scene, Hendrix and you know, Al Cooper and Janis Joplin and that whole thing. And I decided to move to Maine for better lifestyle. And when I moved to Maine, the guitar player that replaced me uh, in that entity went a long way around was Bruce. That's, that's just amazing. Yeah. You said it was documented. And what publication will that um, be? Backstreet's, did a, Backstreet's just did a Backstreet's magazine just did a book on the whole thing. And there's a writer that writes for Rolling Stone named Robert Santelli, and he just wrote a book. I probably shouldn't say the name of the book, but I think it's going to be called Streets of Tears. And he talks about it too. So our little family of people, they finally did kind of a family tree. It was me and Gary Talent and Danny Federici and David Sanchez and Vinny Lopez. All those guys played with me prior to... And were you called Bill Chinook back then? What, uh, uh, what was the band? We were the Downtown Tangiers Rock and Rhythm and Blues Band. <laughs> and we toured for the Electric Circus. I mean, we actually were all over the place. And then finally it became my name on the band, you know, Bill Chinook Band. And uh, when I left the, the band and it's different, the shapes and forms finally ended up being the core of Bruce's E Street Band. So. Here's a song we recorded 1979, Hollis, Maine. For all the dance star heroes here tonight. Come on! North Country Rock and Roll! Been a lot of things in my life I was good, I was bad Made a lot of promises That I never should have I was a fighter, a hustler Dying star hero on the lamb Lock me up, bail me out Back on your doorstep again Baby said hey
she called her name Desire I was naked with Mary Jane We climbed the tallest buildings Fell back to earth again I was a fighter, a hustler A pool shark, a pinball wizard on the land Lock me up, bail me out Back on your doorstep again Baby said, hey, hey Everybody tell me what I'm going to Hey, hey, everybody tell me where I've been Hey, hey, everybody tell me where I'm going to Just a dime store hero In the backseat, honeymoon sleep of my father's Chevrolet. Made promises I couldn't keep for prices no man could pay. Many the blue eyed lady cried in disbelief as I tiptoed through the night 